Good morning, everyone. Virgo Triad here. It is October 17th, 2017, and I wanted to take a moment and share with you this incredible video that was done by Captain Spaulding uh, on the GMEI Utility Index. Now, you can locate this index at www.gmeiutility.org. And you can go into the search options, which the gurus have been telling you to do, and put in your social security number. And their claim is that you will locate all of these different legal uh, corporations that are able to um, trade worldwide on your uh, social security number. However, in reality, this is not the case at all. As I have attempted to try to explain in the past, GMEI Utility is simply an indexing website. It is a search engine to locate uh, based on the parameters that you enter into the search engine, the LEI number of the comp of each one of these companies that you can search through to ensure that they are indeed licensed and indexed in order to trade worldwide. It has nothing to do with your social security number. The search does not provide you with any additional information uh, other than the LEI numbers, the legal name of the entity, the uh, city and country and validation source in which they are listed. I will go ahead and um, and play the video for you now with Captain Spaulding's permission. I would really like it if you would visit uh, Captain Spaulding's channel, which will be located in the description so that you can find more information that he puts out with regards to uh, TDA accounts and uh, their so-called existence, uh, any additional information that pertains to anybody who is peddling this information. This is absolutely misinformation. It is disinformation. It is inaccurate information. Um, so without further ado, here is Captain Spaulding and information on the GMEI Utility Index. This is a uh, website that Harvey Dent and Michael Bryan heavily say that works. The GMEI utility. Okay, you says you put your social security number up here, and it tells you all the uh, information that you supposedly need. The social security number that I have up up here now is a fictitious one does not belong to anybody and it's showing that there are a number of accounts here so let's put in a couple other things we'll just do all zeros and what do we get here oh look there's there's more money here but here's here's the funny thing watch this folks their account number is set up something like a social security number, so you can use combinations of letters and numbers. Let's see what goes on here. Oh, look at this. There's more accounts in the, with letters and numbers. Okay, folks, this, again, is not anything to do with your social security number for, for example there's some of these that are in the united states okay and it tells you over here who they are okay they do have in the united states they do have phone numbers and i have called and got a little information and i was surprised it's definitely not our money like people state. It's when you call them and tell them that uh, it's your social security secret trust, they'll just laugh at you, believe me. But hold on a second, let's go back here again. Okay, those are all Canadian. Wait a minute, let's go down here. Ah, okay, here we go. This is in the United States right here. And 
this one doesn't have a phone number, but some of them do. And you can also Google these. These so just Google like Northern Boulevard LLC and say, hey, this is in your secret Social Security trust fund, and they'll just laugh at you. Again, I, I, I just don't understand where these people find this stuff, or they're just playing around on the computer and see this. It's like, oh, let's type in my Social Security number. And guess what? It, it doesn't. Let's see what this happens. Ooh, there's all kinds of stuff in here, too, but it's not a Social Security number at all. There's no numbers in there at all, it's, but it's set up like the Social Security. Guess what? It is not Captain Spaulding signing off. I'm, I know this was short and sweet, but uh, I just had to prove a point to somebody. Okay, guys. Um, so there you have it. Captain Spaulding breaking it down for you and did an excellent job at that. Please visit his channel. I'm going to pin it at the top of the comments and also place it in the description along with the link to this particular video. Um, Captain Spaulding is saying he does not understand how it is that they are locating these things to attempt to try to prove to you guys that these TDA accounts are being traded upon or your social is being traded upon. I do understand how they're doing this. It is by design. Um, 40 years ago, this scheme came out and um, has been perpetuated by many, many people and has brought many, many people a lot of uh, misfortune and pain and costed them a lot of money, and in some cases, their freedom. Um, what happens here, however, is that this scheme tends to work, and the reason why it works is because people have been for a very long time in honest, desperate need of relieving themselves of debt. And with that being the case, it is something that you want to believe. It is something that you want to be able to uh, find a way out of. So therefore, you will search and research. And the more things that they locate to try to prove that these accounts exist or try to prove that the fallacy itself is actually real, the more you will continue to buy into whatever they are either selling, or it may not just be selling. Uh, it may be a matter of assisting them with GoFundMe accounts because they're putting out this valuable information on their YouTube channel. Or it may be that they are getting ready to do something like uh, provide you with a location that you can put in a particular routing number and your social security number and it bring up an amount at some point. This has not happened yet to my knowledge, but it's something they could do. Now, what have you done? You've entered in your uh, social security number into some website that someone can gather uh, all of your identifying information from. Um, there's also the possibility that these people just simply want to get paid with YouTube views that are monetized. A lot of these individuals that are out there peddling this information have their videos monetized like most of us do because it takes hours and hours to research this stuff. But in addition to monetizing them, they're gathering hundreds of thousands of subscribers that they can then request GoFundMe uh, donations to. A lot of times you're going to see this in this case. Um, and when the when one thing fails because enough of us have debunked it, they will find something else. Uh, the GMEI utility index was something that came out after people started debunking the fidelity calculator. And then the treasury direct calculator came out. It's whatever can be found to verify what they are pushing. So please, for those that have channels that are researching because they think that this is real, they feel that there is some validation to it, do your own research. The channels that are doing research on it and not making golden promises, I commend you.
But for those that are claiming, I have uh, done it, my friend has done it, my uh, sister has paid off her car note with it, my brother has t stopped his foreclosure with it, please, please beware if this is what you're being told. Because there is no proof of this. I have searched and searched. I have requested proof. And every bit of proof that I have found, I have been able to debunk based on basic laws or basic knowledge of the indexing platforms that they're using. So once again, please just do your due diligence and research yourself. But in the meantime, thank you so much, Captain Spaulding, for this. Uh, everybody needed to hear it. Uh, there's another video that I've gone over with the TDA uh, website calculator that uh, gives you the parameters on that and why that is one that's been used. Uh, Fidelity is very similar to that calculator, as I've stated. And I know there are going to be people that we cannot get through to that absolutely refuse to logically break this down and analyze it to where it makes sense. But I have to keep trying because I honestly feel that sooner or later there are going to be people that see through this madness in the meantime i'm trying to stop people from ha being damaged just as captain spaulding is doing and many many others on youtube um before they find themselves indicted such as uh the randall keith bean case or or, as I have recently heard, there is a new video out that uh, is actually addressing uh, a couple that supposedly was arrested for this type of scenario uh, in Tennessee just a few days ago on the 7th of October. However, I have not been able to verify that. So um, because I try to verify everything to ensure that it is accurate and real and not um, documentation that has been altered in any way. I'm not going to say for sure that I know that that's the case. That's just a video that's floating around out there that people are starting to actually go to jail for uh, passing bad checks with the Federal Reserve routing number and their Social Security number as the account number. So please be aware of that. That's not a scare tactic. And even if it was, it's not my scare tactic. It is one that is floating around now on a video of another channel. So please, everybody, be cautious. Try to think very clearly, no matter how excited you are uh, about the potential of these accounts supposedly being there. Make sure you research everything thoroughly and uh, stay tuned. Thank you so much.